What's good? It's your boy, Troy. Yeah, man. Uh, <clears throat> I don't sleep much, man. I stay on that grind. I stay thinking, coming up with new strategies and formulas. To become a mastermind. On this live, I want to talk about a few things. Now, you know, the big situation is uh, Sonya Curry and Dale Curry and their divorce or, you know, infidelity in their relationship. Now, the reason why, you know, a lot of people is talking about this situation is because it's a perfect example of why most men are not getting married. It's the perfect example of what a lot of men are going through in their relationships and marriages when they're dealing with these modern women. I don't think people understand how difficult it is to be a man, how difficult it is to build yourself up for nothing from nothing and have something and then meet a woman give her your last name give her beautiful kids and then y'all stay together for 20 30 years and then all of a sudden she leaves you for an odd-shaped guy. All of a sudden, she wants a divorce. There's a message that's being sent out from this situation that's warning men who are not married and is sending out a message to men who are married that this can happen to anybody this can happen to any man you can think everything is fine you can believe everything is good she seems happy right y'all paying all the bills all the bills are paid I mean, that's more than most households. In today's time, a lot of couples are having problems paying all the bills. They're having a lot of financial problems. But this situation, there isn't any financial problems. And there's still infidelity problems. And right now, Man don't know what to do with the modern women. See, most of the modern women in this Western society are uncoachable and set in their ways after the age of 25. They're uncoachable and set in their ways. They were never trained by their mothers because their mothers was out here running the streets, getting benefit packages from the government instead of submitting to a man.
They chose the government check. They chose the government benefits instead of submitting to a strong man. Now, what happens when these women chose the government benefits, what that done is that made all the men that they were with go to work. That made them become workers. They chose child support. They chose to get that government check over the man. So that eliminated man out of the households. When you eliminate man out of the households and you just have women in the households getting government checks, you raise beta males. You also have women who have daughters in the home, right? And as you know, most women are in competition with their daughters. So when you eliminate the man out of the households, you have all these issues. And now you have another female coming up that's untrained. And you have another beta male being raised. And this cycle is happening over and over. The truth is most of you women are uncoachable. You can't be told anything. You believe you know everything. But you don't want to be held accountable for when things go wrong. And men see this. When you look at Sonya Curry, she says that she always wanted to be on a reality show. So now she's going to be on the Bravo channel next year on Housewives. What's this shit called? Housewives of Atlanta? Some shit like that. So she always wanted to attention she never really wanted the family life she always wanted attention she always wanted to be uh you know that hot girl have fun all the time she never really wanted to be that housewife and you see that same thing in Aisha Curry now, if you see this going on with these women, why do you think it's not going to happen to the average woman? The average women are doing the same thing. They're needing attention. That's why they're taking tons of selfies on a daily basis and they can't stop. They can't put their cell phones down. Women are living in their cell phones. And then when you get in a relationship with these women. They tell you that they love you. And then if you're a man and you get emotionally attached to these women. They start to test you. They start to try to figure out what they can get away with. Right now. There's a man laying in his bed next to his wife, next to his woman. And he don't know what the hell's going on. He don't know what he's doing wrong. He don't know why his wife or girlfriend doesn't want to really have sex with him. He doesn't know why she constantly is showing signs of disrespect and unappreciation. What he doesn't know is that most of the modern women in today's Western society are backwards. Most of them don't know what they want. 
and don't know what to do. Most of them are walking contradictions. And when you are emotionally caught up with a woman and she's a walking contradiction, it confuses you as a man. You're confused because you don't know what you're doing wrong. See, when you're dealing with these modern women, you have to just watch her actions and not listen to what she says. Watch what she does. See, people think love is what they see on the movies and what they see on television. Well, that's not love. That's a trap. What you see on television and what you see in the movies is a trap. Valentine's Day. It's a trap. It's all about money. The world knows women are the consumers. They spend 70% of, it, of all money spent consuming is made by women because they're emotional. And what the world wants to do is to make man emotional. The world wants emotional women and emotional men so that they can control both. They want to control both. What a lot of men believe is love is not love. <laughs> See, when you tell a woman that you love her, now, in her mind, she has to start testing you and seeing if you're as strong as she thinks you are. <clears throat> because women are hardwired to want the strongest man possible. <clears throat> but now that social media is involved... It's thrown our women of today all the way off. Now, <clears throat> now they want to test all the time like little kids. They want to see what they can get away with like little kids now. A lot of men tell women that they love them. So that the woman will stop hurting them or so the woman won't hurt them. Man, have you noticed <clears throat> when you tell a woman that you love her and when you open up to her fully emotional wise that she starts to mistreat you? Women mistreat weak men. Women manipulate weak men. Women abuse weak men. That's what our modern women do. Women love the men that don't love them back. <clears throat> women like men who don't pander them. That's the way the modern women, the modern woman is. They don't like the man that's all in their face and all up under them. No. Women don't like that. As long as you men continue to pour yourself emotionally into women, you will continue to be used and abused in your marriages and in your relationships. You as a man, you are supposed to guide the ship. You are supposed to be the logical thinking thinker. You're supposed to focus on the goal at hand. She is supposed to chase your validation because you are the head God overall 
You're the head, the woman is the neck. Once you start pouring yourself into a woman emotionally and getting all into your feelings, that's when you start to show signs of weakness. Once you start to show signs of weakness, no one respects you. That's man or women. That's your wife or your girlfriend. Stay focused on your goals. Don't get caught up in the condition that you're in and the situation that you're in on the way to the top. If you want to have a goal-oriented life, you can't get emotionally caught up in conditions and situations because conditions and situations change. See, a wise man once said that interests are permanent. Friends and foes are temporary. So your goals and interests are always going to be there. But your friends and foes are going to come and go. Your situations and your conditions are going to change. So always stay focused on the goal. Don't get emotionally attached to the situation you're in. Because if you stay focused on your goals, you will make it. Don't get emotionally caught up with women. Stay focused on your goals. Remember, friends and foes come and go. But your interests are permanent. I appreciate you tuning in. Comment, like, subscribe to the No One Cares channel. Always remember, no one cares. No one gives a damn. Until you change your mindset. But just know one cares. And he wants you to become the best version of yourself. I'm out.